Welcome back to TJ's Porch Garage. For the last couple of months, I've been focusing on my BMW E30 project car. But now I'm waiting for some brake calipers to arrive and it's time to pay some attention to my wife's 2011 Toyota Avanza. So it's time for the Avanza's once a year servicing. So I've got the usual engine oil and oil filter as well as the air filter. I've done videos on both of these before. Check it out in the link up here. I've also done videos on the power steering fluid, power steering boot, and sway bar links. Links in the description below. But in this video, we are going to drain and refill the engine coolant. To drain the coolant, we'll have to get under the car. So drive onto some ramps, get a hydraulic jack under the car, and lift the car from the front subframe. Now we can get our jack stands under the car and lower the car onto the jack stands. Now we are going to drain the coolant but make sure that the coolant is not hot before you do this. If the engine has just been run and was hot, your coolant will be hot and when the coolant comes out, it can scald you. As you can see, I'm using a pair of pliers to loosen or undo this hose clamp. So you just need to press the hose clamp in together, which will actually loosen it, and then slide it off to one side. With the hose clamp removed, you can now remove the hose by just pulling it. Make sure you've got a bucket or a pail prepared, because the coolant is going to come gushing out. Wear some protective goggles and mask as well, so you don't ingest any of this poisonous coolant. Now I'm going to run some fresh water through the radiator to help flush out whatever remaining coolant and dirt from the system. Once the coolant cap comes off, some additional coolant might come gushing out. Using a common garden hose, just start filling up the radiator. The water will actually come out the other end, bringing along with it any coolant or dirt. Now we have finished draining the coolant and we can reattach the radiator hose. I've got a piece of cloth with me so that I can wipe down all the mess that the coolant has created. Once everything is nice and dry, use the pliers to clamp the hose clamp and slide it back into place so that you'll hold the radiator hose in place. Now we can fill up the car with fresh coolant. To make things less messy, I've got a funnel and I'm going to just start pouring in the Toyota coolant. This is Toyota's Super Long Life coolant, also known as the pink coolant. It comes pre-mixed with water, so you don't have to mix this with any water, just pour it straight in. Keep pouring until you see the coolant start to leak out from the top of the radiator and then you can stop and start the engine. Once the engine is started, any air in the radiator or cooling system will start getting pushed out and the coolant level will start dropping. Make sure you keep a close eye on the temperature and that your engine is not overheating. Then just let the engine run and keep the coolant level topped off until the engine reaches operating temperature. Once the engine reaches operating temperature, the thermostat will open and that will allow the coolant in the radiator to start flowing into your engine block and that will further reduce the coolant level and you have to top it up. Let the temperature and the coolant level stabilize after the engine has reached operating temperature and then you can cap off the radiator. And we are almost done. Just get the car off the jacks so the car is level again. Double check the coolant level after that. And then just do some tests, rev up the engine 
make sure the temperature is completely stable. If your temperature gauge is fluctuating wildly, like my BMW E30 here, then you might still have air in your cooling system which needs to be bled out. But with the Avanza, I didn't have such a problem and everything went smoothly. If you want more videos on the Avanza, check out the links in the description below. And if you're interested in following my progress on the BMW E30, there's a playlist in the description too. Alright, that's it for this video. See you next time.